think it's kind of strange that people try to reduce me down to like being just a single mother or whatever other box people want to put me in and if I step outside of it it's unacceptable to them someone hit me up in the DMs the other day and told me that my content has been lackluster for a couple of years and those of you who've been watching my content for a while you know I backed away from social media about a year ago I had to change my lifestyle around because it's just me and my son in California and my mom is no longer here to help me raise my son. My son is on a spectrum and I don't usually post a lot of content about my son for a reason. Number one is for privacy reasons and number two, a lot of people made fun of my son before we found out that he was on the spectrum. So here comes a person telling me that I should make more content about being a single mother. They suggested that I make single mom content that is based around my son thriving, being under the spectrum. And they spoke of it as if that's my lane and I need to stick to that lane because me trying to be a life coach or me trying to positively affect my lives is not my lane and not something I should do, right? This person then went on to talk about how I needed to be in therapy, started asking me all of these personal questions about my life that I don't discuss on social media. What's weird to me is that people who contact me from fake profiles that are anonymous, that have no followers, no following, and no posts think that I'm the one who needs therapy but it's just completely normal that they're contacting me while not taking responsibility for what they are saying to me like who are you do you know who you are the fact that you feel comfortable to post about somebody else's life on social media without anyone knowing who you are and what's going on in your life is proof that you need to seek out a mental health professional. So let's just start there. This isn't the first time that someone suggested that I do a niche switch or a content switch. People have always made suggestions on what kind of content they think that I should post. And that's not how this works. I post what I feel at the moment, what I think at the moment. I'm going to original person if you don't like it you are supposed to just scroll and go find some stuff that you like to watch as of lately people have been asking me why I don't post my son some more like I might post my son he might be in a backseat or something and I'm talking about something else or you know you know something like that I don't post my son anymore what a lot of people don't know is that my son had a YouTube channel he has a YouTube channel called Raising Justice on that channel I just posted videos of him doing regular everyday kid stuff him playing with his Hot Wheels he has this obsession and hyper fixation on cars so I was going to make that channel channel about me teaching him everything that I knew about cars because people know that I used to be a driver and I also own a fleet of rental cars however I remember the first time somebody started making fun of my son calling my son radio and calling my son a retard they was calling him that on my channel but the first time I saw it on his YouTube channel was in a video to where he was like pushing me on the merry-go-round and because I'm bigger than him he couldn't push me he was like two or three years old trying to push a grown woman on a merry-go-round and it was funny because he couldn't push me and of course that's typical of any kid no kid is going to be able to push a grown-ass almost 200 pound woman on a merry-go-round at two or three years old but they were coming in my comment section making it seem like my son was a retard because he couldn't push me and next thing you know all of these videos started to be posted on social media about my son being a retard and how my son was on the spectrum and I was like my son does not have autism my son is not on the spectrum I don't know what you're talking about and for like two years I was like I don't see what y'all talking about and I think the reason why is because my son is so smart initially my son was like non-verbal and of course he wasn't talking to any of the videos and a lot of people was mentioning the fact that he wasn't saying anything and I was thinking oh I was always a quiet child myself I didn't really start talking like that until I got significantly older when in my youth I was a very quiet kid so I was just thinking that I was just my son because honestly I felt like I only talk unless I had something to say but then he started stimming like flapping his arms and doing certain things that autistic kids do so I went and got him evaluated I wish I could have just naturally figured that out with time because of course I would have a lot of people don't realize that their children are on the spectrum until they get like three or four Contrary to what you may believe, I love my privacy and my kids love their privacy. My son is not a like videotapey type of kid. He doesn't do a whole bunch of stuff that needs to be videotaped. And my daughter is the same way. That's why I don't like post my kids all of the time. I used to post my life all the time. I used to post my dogs, cooking tutorials. I used to let people into my home. 
and so much negativity came out of that. And here I was posting my son's father and what did people on social media do? Whatever they could to try to destroy my relationship with him. Once he got a hold of that red pill content, it was over for me and him. Regardless, we was headed in a very positive direction until people on social media started digging their noses into places it wasn't even supposed to be. And it was mainly men. And it's mainly men who was making fun of my son. So I say all this to let y'all know, I'm not going to let y'all destroy my son the way that y'all destroyed my life, spreading rumors and lies, all types of stuff about me unalive in myself. I am not going to let y'all tear through my son's life like you tore through mine. Like you guys have tried to destroy my life literally for years, making up lies, smear campaigns, trying to destroy any friendship, relationship or business relationship I had, have tried to destroy my money. Y'all do this shit to people every day it isn't just me y'all pick people that you want to bully and you want to harm sometimes you feel a level of jealousy sometimes you wish you had this job or wish you had this relationship or wish you had this child or following or whatever else is going on in your lives please stop suggesting that I post my kids more because if I wanted to post my kids more my kids would be posted if my kids wanted to be posted more they would be posted so I'm telling you guys Respect my privacy and don't try to convince me that the only way that I'm going to be successful on social media is if I post my kids or if I display the plight of a broken single mom. I am not interested in posting all of this single mom content. I was in that stage already. I did this. And it doesn't matter what genre or niche or kind of content that I post. When people have made up their mind about who they think I am, there is nothing that I could do about that. You don't know what you don't know about people. So don't assume because you aren't seeing my videos as much as you used to or I'm not on the level that you want me to be on that I'm not successful to me. It isn't up to you to decide what I do with my life, my channel, my kids. My, it, that's weird that y'all think that. All I can do and all I've been doing is trying to encourage people to live a better life. That's it. I share my opinions and then I encourage people to chase their dreams and follow their goals like a life coach would. I've written books. I've taught finance and again it's not relationships that I sit and talk about the most what I talk about the most is God and anybody who's been consuming my content for a long time knows that if it was up to me all I would post about is God not everybody wants to talk about God sometimes people want to talk about money sometimes people want to talk about celebrity news a lot of y'all want to talk about drama just let me post what I want to post if you don't like what I post that's okay it's so much stuff you can watch on social media i'm for who i'm for you can like me you can love me whatever i'm not gonna stress over it my life is peaceful i like it the way that it is and hopefully i'll improve in the way that i want to improve with time i appreciate opinion but when i reject your opinion and i tell you to take care and move on don't try to convince me or stalk me or harass me into thinking and believing what you want me to believe because as far as i'm concerned any advice i give on social media you can take it or leave it i'm not gonna force feed it to you so stop trying to force feed me